The Proposition Gallery is pleased to announce its premiere exhibition of work by Canadian artist Cosimo Cavallaro. Chocolate Saints Sweet Jesus, scheduled to coincide with All Saints Day, November 1st, 2007, is featuring nine of Cavallaro's bronze-like sculptures constructed entirely out of chocolate. In the late 1990s, seemingly overnight, half of the art galleries in Soho packed up and moved to the far west reaches of Chelsea. Anyone looking for contemporary art in New York is likely to view it neither a made-over car repair shop or a supernatuated office building somewhere between West 17th Street and West 27th Street and 10th and 11th Avenue. of the artist and ours, Paul Bridgewater, uh, came to me and told me that they were looking for a gallery to host uh, sort of the dejected Christ. Uh, and obviously the original story of having a new Christ in the window on Good Friday was not something that I would be very interested in doing. Next week for the Catholic Church, November 1st, is a Holy Day of Obligation, All Saints Day. So the idea was to change the show from Christ on the Cross on Good Friday to All Saints Day, continue to use the Christ statue, but add a collection of saints. The Catholic Church has designated three steps to full sainthood. First, a person is declared venerable. This is a deceased person recognized as having lived a life filled with heroic virtues. Second, a person is declared blessed or beautified. Third, a person is declared a saint or canonized. All Saints Day is a feast that remembers all Christian saints, known and unknown. It is celebrated by the Roman Catholic Church on November 1st and by Orthodox Catholics on the first Sunday after Pentecost. The Catholic Church is the only church that has continued the pagan tradition of basically idol worship. Because Protestants don't have saints, only Catholics really have saints. St. Mary, as you help the child Jesus grow up to become the savior of the world, help me grow into the adult I must be to best serve God. St. Anthony, you are the finder of what is lost. Help me never lose my belief in the power of God's miracles. Saint Augustine, you never stop searching for the path to God. Help me find the way to Jesus' light through the darkness of temptation. Saint Fermin, you are the co-patron of Pamplona. Your cloak provides protection in times of trouble. Saint Francis, you treated everyone as a divine child of God. Help me see the presence of God in everyone I meet. Saint Jude, you kept the flame of Jesus' heart burning bright for all to see. Help me never lose sight of God's goodness and mercy. Saint Michael Archangel, you have protected humankind since the dawn of time. Guide my steps so that they lead directly to God. Saint Mary Magdalene, you followed Jesus through good times and bad. Teach me to stay faithful to God's word all the days of my life. I also felt that as a Catholic child at Easter we had bunnies and definitely chocolate crosses and all these different things made out of chocolate. So all of my association with chocolate as a child are very, very positive. So I had no negative association with doing something like this because, as I said, it would be something drastically different than what they did the first time. So it was sort of like taking the, the homeless Christ and finding him a proper home.
looking at it, it's living and dying at the same time. L uh, food is a perishable, you know, it's, and life is perishable. So I like to represent art as life, you know, and, and as close as possible with the, all the senses.